make sure you put the arrow in the arrow. camera we got fans let's see what happens here So yeah, my guess is, is that little piggy may or may not have all right. If you can see, uh, I got my USB flash stick in here, plugged in. Um, I'm hoping and praying that the BIOS is um, installing itself. Um, kind of watched a little bit of a video here to kind of get an idea of how this works. I've never done it this way before. Okay, it's doing what he said. It's now blinking faster. So that means it's getting somewhere. Um, the dude said once it is done blinking that it should be, uh, it may or may not boot on its own. Um, it might boot on its own, um, or it might not. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's obviously doing something because it's blinking faster than it was last time. I'm going to go ahead and guess that this board has not had, this is nice. Look at how cool this is. I just noticed instead of just having the color coded ring around it, my God, this motherboard has lights colored for this stuff so when i'm freaking in the dark playing games and stuff and i need to play a game that for whatever reason doesn't use my headset doesn't use a bluetooth headset doesn't work with my bluetooth headset for some dumb reason i have uh, several games that do that by the way i can just go oh where the hell is it? instead of fiddle farting around in the dark and I need to get a flashlight or something i can just be like oh okay there it is that's nice that's really cool why doesn't every motherboard company do this from now on and spend the extra $10 or whatever it takes to do this. Who knows? Okay, so he said once it's done, it's done. I'm going to plug in this motherboard. Look at all this RGB I got going on right now. Stupid GPU. Why aren't you RGB? Um, all right. Push start again. Everything's plugged in, I think. Yeah, we got HDMI plugged in, so. Why is that? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a first. Look at this. I think there's something wrong with this motherboard, actually, maybe. Can you see that? The SSD's not hot. What is going on? I, like, melted it. This thing was, like, to the touch, like, overwhelmingly hot. Wow. Okay, so... All right, let's try this again without that being plugged in. <laughs> Right, let's just let's kill everything. This is this is weird. <laughs> that was weird. 
I've never seen that before. Holy shit, maybe that maybe that SATA cable's junk or wired wrong or something. My god. It freaking melted it. This thing was incredibly hot to the touch when I was trying to touch it first at first there. Oh my god. That was horrifyingly hot. Holy balls. Alright. Well now we're booting. That is bizarre, dude. Sweet, so the BIOS worked. 6201, 64, perfect. 39C. That's kind of nice. It looks like everything's working just fine. All right, YouTube. I need a mouse. All right, so we're back. Everything seems to be booting. We're uh, going to try and install Windows now. If you saw my last PSA video, <laughs> I uh, nearly burnt down my home. That's an exaggeration though. Uh, but I used the wrong, I grabbed the wrong power cable for my SATA port uh, for my SSD drive. And, oof. <laughs> All right, so I uh, yeah, I may have fried an SSD drive because of this. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We plugged in a new new hard drive here. So yeah, I think I fried that other one. Good thing that thing's cheap as hell. And we're gonna see if we can install Windows on this thing. Um, yeah, that's fast. And see if this, see if this beast, this big ass EATX X370 motherboard, look at that AMD graphics card to go with it too. Oh, on. Um, R9 290. Yeah, so far so good. Um, yeah, so far everything looks like it's working okay. And we'll probably have to start the build here in a couple days once I get some more the rest of the parts. God, fan's really neat looking. Installing windows, see where this goes. And uh, I'll be right back with that. <laughs> 